A local Catholic priest has been suspended from ministry after being accused of sexually abusing a minor 40 years ago. Ross Gadani joins us live with this story as well as reaction. Ross. Sonny, the accusations are disturbing. A young priest who allegedly took advantage of one of his young parishioners a long time ago, but they are just that accusations, and the diocese has launched an investigation. The alleged sexual abuse took place at the now closed St. Kenny's Parish in the Knoxville section of Pittsburgh several decades ago. We found out at the beginning of the week an allegation came to us that uh, someone had been abused by uh, one of our priests, Father Al Adams, some 40 years ago in that period, 40, 41. Uh, the victim wasn't quite sure. Father Adams was, up until yesterday, the pastor and chaplain at Bishop Canavan High School. Students and parents were informed of the actions taken by the diocese in a letter sent home Wednesday. Right now, he can't present himself as a priest in good standing, uh, can't wear the Roman collar, can't publicly administer the sacraments. In addition to serving at St. Canis and Canavan, Father Adams served as pastor at Resurrection Catholic Church in West Mifflin. We spoke to a former parishioner of his. I can't believe it. He was always a kind, nice person. He had been our pastor for almost two years, and I could say nothing bad about him. The diocese will now convene a review board to determine the next course of action. The district attorney's office has been informed of the situation. It's a very difficult process sometimes uh, to get to the truth because you want to be sensitive to everyone that's involved in this. People say that we think only of the priest, and that's not true. Uh, at all because the victims are our people also and uh, we, we are sensitive to everyone involved in what is a, a very uh, delicate, uh, sad situation. Finally, Father Lengwin says this is the first accusation filed against Father Adam since his ordination in 1967. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.